Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create a second hard drive partition of your current hard drive on your computer, which is very useful in case you might want to have a separate space for your personal files from your main local drive, or if you want to install a different operating system on your computer. The way we will do this, I'm going to open, I'm going to open the on-screen keyboard in order for you to understand what key I need you to press on your computer. So the key I need you to press in order for us to start the process is the window key right here next to the alt key. So that you're not going to do it as I am opening the on-screen keyboard and doing this. You're going to look at your keyboard and you're going to press at that key right next to the alt and at the R at the same time. R is in Robert. That will open the run taskbar. Let me minimize this. And in the run taskbar, you're going to type diskmgmt.msc. That's going to open the disk management controls. Look into the description of this video in order to just copy and paste. That way you don't have to be typing just in case. Press OK. Now that we have the disk management control window open, you're going to take the pointer of your mouse over to the C drive and you're going to right click over it. That will open up the menu that we need. Left click is what we use to select things in our computer. Right click normally opens menus. So we're going to right click over the C drive and you're going to click on shrink volume. So the idea is that we're going to take our main hard drive and we're going to shrink it and have a certain specific space separate, which is the new, what we're going to be using as the second partition. Your computer at this second will be evaluating how much space can you actually dedicate to that new hard drive. So here it tells you the size of available shrink space. You can't go over that size. I mean, if you want, you could type it here over that amount, but it will give you a error message once you try to shrink the space. The other thing that you could see is that here is telling you the size available in megabytes. So for every 1000 megabyte, it's the same thing as one gigabyte. So here it's telling me that 12,057 megabytes is available, which is approximately 12 gigabytes. That space is actually very good for what I need. I'm going to be using it to evaluate a new operating system on my computer. So if you need less than the space that it's telling you, you could type it in here. But like I said, the space that my computer is telling me of 1257, 12,057 megabytes is actually good. So I'm going to click on shrink. So as you're looking into the video, just keep your eyes on the disk management window. You're going to see it refresh for a second. And on the bottom part, you're going to see next to the C drive that a new a new little box opened up with the space that you created. So again, as you look here, it already refreshed. The C drive now has 211.45 gigabytes and right next to it is a space of 11.78 gigabytes of an allocated space. We still haven't finished because right now that section needs to have a letter drive in order to be useful as an actual driver, as an actual disk drive on your computer. So again, you're going to go over this space and you're going to right click over it. Again, right click is what opens up the menus for us and you're going to click on new simple volume. This will open the new simple volume wizard. Click next the space that you want to assign a letter volume to is the space that we created for the 12,057 megabytes. Click next. Here you could be picky and select the actual volume letter you want for your new drive. We'll call mine the X drive. And if you actually just want to assign a letter to it and format it at a later time, you could click on do not format this volume. Um, if you just want to do everything in one shot because we're in here already, 
you could format it. There's two formats. There's the FAT32 and there's the NTFS. NTFS is more secure. It's mostly used for Windows. Um, the FAT32 is still used. I mostly see it used on external hard drives and for compatibility with Mac computers mostly. So the NTFS is actually more secure if you want to choose that. So we're, I'm just going to leave it at the NTFS and finish. So it's going to take a couple of seconds just assigning that volume. And now my computer has the new volume X drive. Um, you could see it here from the disk management window. If you open up your file explorer and you click on this PC and you scroll all the way down, here you go. Your new volume X ready and available to be used. So just in case you did a mistake doing this partition, you can actually click right now in order to see the video on how to delete that new partition and how to unite it back to the C drive in order for you to redo the process over again. That's about it as far as how to create a second partition of your current hard drive. Uh, you have any questions, please let me know. I will try my best to answer them. Thank you. Goodbye.